Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Colorado, Mr. Buck. The gentleman from Colorado is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding time. Madam Speaker, I've heard that uh, President Trump radicalized the group that the rioters who stormed this Capitol. And I would say that we need to look no further than ourselves to find out what happened and to look at history. Americans were frustrated when they learned that the FBI was investigating the Trump campaign. They were frustrated to learn that the Obama administration and the DNC had created this false campaign against the Trump administration. They, they were frustrated, Madam Speaker, when the, the inauguration of the president was boycotted by over 40 Democrat members of this House. They were frustrated to read in the, New York, in the Washington Post the day after the inauguration, let the impeachment begin. They were frustrated when members of this House spoke over and over about impeaching the president days into his administration. And then the socialists in Hollywood joined their allies in Congress. Robert De Niro said that he wanted to punch the president in the face. Madonna thought about blowing up the White House. Kathy Lee Griffin held up a, a likeness of the president's uh, beheaded head. And nothing was said by my colleagues at that point in time. In fact, one Democrat colleague said that Trump supporters should be harassed wherever they are, in restaurants, on the street, in supermarkets. During this prime, the president was under investigation by a special counsel who found no collusion, no conspiracy with Russia. The president's supporters were harassed. Ajit Pai, the, the uh, head of the FCC, was called a dirty, sneaky Indian. His children were harassed in school. The press secretary, Kirsten Nelson, was, uh, I'm sorry, the press secretary, Sarah Sanders, was kicked out of a restaurant for being a Trump uh, employee. The DHS Secretary, Kirsten Nelson, harassed by her home. Trump donors were publicly... Gentlemen's time has expired. I'm sorry, you couldn't hear me. The mic, the mic wasn't on.